Welcome, guys, to the Simple Doesn't Mean Easy podcast. We are here twice a week, Mondays and Fridays, working at simplifying things in our lives just a little bit, one day at a time. I'm your host, Michelle Visser, and on today's Five Minute Friday episode, I'm starting, I think, something kind of a new series. I'm excited about this. Let me know, give me your feedback. Let me know if you would like more of this. But my thought is, on Fridays, I'm going to spend a few minutes sharing with you something that I've recently discovered, or maybe that I've been using for years that I absolutely love that I don't really get enough time to talk about and tell you guys about. I have been on a mission for the past year or two to, in the places that seem the most reasonable to me, to try to swap out a toxic item for a non-toxic item. And it's been harder than I thought. (laughs) I started with shampoo and I was so discouraged. I was to the point that I was ready to just use the chemical based stuff and move on with my life. And I think sometimes that's going to happen, guys. Sometimes you're just not going to be able to find what you need that is as clean of a product as you would like. And then you need to decide, are you making a compromise? You know, where are you going with it? But for me, every single non-toxic shampoo or conditioner that I tried literally stripped my hair of any curls and it just made it horrible. Just, I won't even go into all the details. I just was going crazy. And it took like many weeks or a month or two for my hair to recover once I stopped using the non-toxic and went back to my old shampoo. So I was really discouraged until I found what I'm using now. And I'm so excited about it. I had to start here with our non-toxic home Fridays. Um, By the way, if you want to know more about a little bit about our journey on this topic and some of my inspiration, well, first of all, just a few episodes ago, episode 117, it was called Facing Challenges, Setting Goals, and Making the Best Product. I talked to two sisters who had started started a candle company and their candles are completely non-toxic. So that got me thinking about a lot of other things, like I said, that I want to share with you. Back in season five, episode 19, if you want to dive into this topic of non-toxic items in the home more, find out why it is important to me. Um, and learn some things that I hadn't known. Maybe you can learn them yourself in this episode. Episode 19 in season five is where this whole journey started for me. Okay, so the shampoo and conditioner I'm using, guys, I am in love with these. If you go to solelyrested.com slash non-toxic, N-O-N-T-O-X-I-C, it will dive into a whole list of the products that I have discovered from this company that do amazing things for my hair. And I'm so impressed with them and how they are genuinely clean, no junk kind of hair products. Specifically with this company, it's called Evolve. I use not, I don't just get, they do have a whole line just for curly hair, but I discovered the combination I like the best is to get the Insta Volume Shampoo and the Smart Curl Conditioner. And I do have some tips for you that I've learned along the way of how to conserve and save a little bit of money because they're not cheap. When you go non-toxic, it's never cheap. Before I give you those tips, let me quickly run down why shampoo was a place that was important for me to start. Because I had learned some of the ingredients in shampoo do really bad things, really bad things for us and our health. Now, there are the typical things like the sulfates, uh, the retinol palmonate, I think you pronounce it, the alcohol. I can't even read these things. Um, I can't pronounce them. But a lot of the things are just bad for your hair. What I want to focus on for just a minute are the things that are really bad for your health. There are hormone disruptors in most shampoos that you buy today. These are man-made chemicals that literally interfere with our body's hormonal system. You see, our hormones are continually sending messages right? It's like a communication system of our entire body. But when these man-made chemicals that mimic the hormones bind to the hormone receptors, it prevents our hormones from sending any correct messages and they can't regulate our body functions correctly. 
and our endocrine system is completely out of connection with, you know, our body can't communicate. And it really leads to significant health problems, guys. It's really scary. Look up hormone disruptors and find out a little bit more if you don't know more about that. But specifically in shampoos, often it's phthalates that are the hormone disruptors. And there are parabens that increase our risk of skin cancer. And there's formaldehyde. Now, why on earth do they put formaldehyde in shampoo? They do it to make it as a preservative. Granted, I don't want my shampoo to be getting, you know, fungal and bacterial infection. That's so I do want some sort of a preservative. But guys, there are natural options. They just cost more money. So the typical shampoo company, looking at the bottom line, chooses to go with formaldehyde. No, thank you. Okay, so how can you, if the shampoo winds up being more expensive, how can you start using the better stuff and stay in budget? First of all, use less. I have discovered with these high quality shampoos, I can literally use a dollop, just a little bit, and it goes a long way for the shampoo and the conditioner. I'm surprised that I don't need that large amount I used to think I had to squirt in my hand to get my hair clean. And I have a lot of hair and it's thick, but I can use a small amount. Um, sometimes I don't wash my hair. Sometimes I will, especially in the summer when we're doing a lot of swimming in the lake, I will simply let it air dry. I don't always wash it every single time that I'm swimming in the lake or, you know, every single morning. And also there are some options that you can kind of switch between that might be a little less expensive, but don't have these really bad endocrine disruptors and other toxic chemicals in them. They're just not quite as clean. So you can also kind of do a switch back and forth. So I hope that helps and go to solelyrested.com slash non-toxic. I have these listed there and I'm going to be adding to it every week as we talk about some more items that I want to share with you. So thanks for listening guys. And remember it is easy to forget how blessed we are to live this life. So enjoy the simple everyday efforts. It's not easy, but it's a good life.